Hello everyone. My name is Pradeep Pan. I work as a senior software engineer in Qualcomm. Today, I am going to walk you through one of our vision solution that is MA Super Resolution. In this presentation, we are going to cover the steps involved in developing an MA Super Resolution solution. First step is to select the model. Second step is to convert the model to a format that runs on a Snapdragon hardware. Third step is to package the model binaries into Android application. We also covered the resources necessary for further experiment on this solution. First step to develop any solution is to select the best suitable model. AI Met Model Zoo provides a collection of popular neural network models. It has multiple models for super resolution. Comparison of all the models for super resolution is shown on this slide. SESR Excel model has the highest signal to noise ratio. So, SESR Excel is selected for this demo. SESR stands for Super Efficient Super Resolution. Model input dimension is 128 cross 128 pixels and output dimension is 256 cross 256 pixels. Pipeline for upscaling the image is shown on the screen. First, the low resolution image is converted to bitmap. Bitmap is rescaled to model input dimension. This rescaled bitmap is given to the model as input. Output of model after post-processing is the high resolution image. Performance metrics on the latest Snapdragon hardware are shown in the table. We can clearly see the performance improvement on a DSP with respect to CPU. This slide gives an overview of the model architecture. The reference to the original paper is mentioned to explore further. We are converting the PyTorch model to ONX model and then the ONX to DLC. It is highly recommended to convert PyTorch model to ONX before converting to DLC for better support. First we need to get the model weights for SESR Excel 2x then clone the AI Met model zoo git repo and make sure the repo head is pointing to the one mentioned here. In the inference file mentioned, change the code as instructed. This additional code will save PyTorch model to ONX and will fix its input dimension. Now run superres underscore quant eval dot ipynb file. It is a Python Jupyter notebook. Now we have the ONX model ready with us. Once the ONX model is ready, run the DLC converter command as shown on the screen. In this demo, Model weights are used corresponding to SESR Excel 2x. Other scaling factors like 3x, 4x can also be tried out. To make use of DLC model in Android, copy it into the assets folder. Path is mentioned on this slide. Using the lines in first code snippet, the model can be used in Java code. Then load the model into requested runtime. The second code snippet elaborates on initializing and Model parameter are also briefly explained here. Now it's time to see the demo in action. Users need to first select an image and then select the hardware used to run the model. The performance indicators here shown at the bottom of the video are specific to the build and Snapdragon hardware we are currently using. The performance numbers may slightly vary depending on the hardware and software configuration on the end user device. Thank you. For more details on this demo and documentation for the entire steps mentioned in this video, please visit Qualcomm Developer Network.